Hello. This week in Intro to the Internet, we're going to look at a very interesting topic. It has to do with your digital footprint. Now, you might wonder, like, what the heck is a digital footprint? But if you think about it for a minute, we do so many things online, so many things on the Internet. And everything we do is kind of like one of those steps. It's part of our footprint. So when you click things, when you like things, when you post things, uh, when you share things, all of these things blend together to become your digital footprint. For example, have you ever tried to Google your name? No? If you haven't, give it a shot. Take your name, put it in quotation marks so that it all stays together. And you might have to try variations of your name. You know, like if you're if you go by a nickname most of the time, you know, try that with your last name. If you go by your full name, make sure you use that. Try some variations. Let's see what comes up. What kind of posts will show up? What kind of uh, interactions come to the surface? All of these things together put make your digital footprint. So who cares, right? What's the big deal? I can tell you that when somebody meets you or when you apply for a job or when you put in to go to a university, there's lots of situations where somebody's gonna do just that. They're gonna look up your name and see who you are. And so uh, some people say, well, whatever, I don't do anything on the internet. So I don't have a digital footprint. And that might actually be true. But the thing we're gonna look at is can you build a positive digital footprint? Something that when you go to get a job or when you go to meet somebody, they look this up and they're like, whoa, that's really interesting. That's really cool. I've got some questions about that. I'd really like to talk to this person. That would be developing a positive digital footprint. I'll give you like one example. And there's, there's like tons and tons of examples. But I read about a student who went to MIT, sort of. Uh, MIT puts all of their coursework online. So that's kind of cool. Like anybody can go through the lectures, go through the assignments. Like you don't actually get graded and you don't actually get a degree from MIT unless you enroll in the university. But if you just want to learn this stuff, it's all out there. It's open courseware and you are more than welcome to go through any of the classes that they have there. And I think at this point they have all their classes there. So there was a young guy that wanted to get a computer science degree from MIT. And so he did just that. He went through the classes, he did all the homework. And what he did is he created a blog about that. He created a blog that documented all the things that he did, all his responses, all of his projects, all of his stuff. And then when he went to go apply for a job, he had a built-in portfolio that he could share and show because it was right there. It documented his progress, it documented his insights, it documented everything. So it is possible to build a positive digital footprint. And that's what we're gonna look at this week. Let me share my screen and we'll jump right in. So one of the, in the think section, we've got two videos and they're very different voices. The very first one, what does your digital footprint say about you? She's a professor at the University of Edinburgh in Scotland. And uh, she's going to talk about, uh, she's a social media expert. So she's going to talk about, well, how do you find stuff and what does that say? And what can you do about it? The second one is really interesting because it's middle school students, like early teens for the most part. And, you know, they don't think, they just share everything, right? Like, especially if they've got a smartphone, they snap pictures, they share stuff, they post stuff. They don't really think about it. So this is a whole bunch of kids, and it's a really short video. I think it's under four minutes. It's a bunch of kids talking about that. Like, what does that mean? But as I was listening to it, I thought, you know what? This applies to college students also. It pretty much applies to all of us. So you might find some useful things to think about in both of those videos. In the learn section, this is where we get practical. So there is a um, typically considered like a business or a professional social networking site called LinkedIn. Some of you might be familiar with that. You might actually already have a LinkedIn profile. So this will be good. This will help you build that out a little bit more. Some of you have no idea what that is. Um, it's social media, but it's not like 
Facebook or Twitter or Snapchat. It's not that kind of social media. It's social because people are gathered there together and they network. So that's kind of the social networking piece of it. Anyhow, GCF Learn has a really nice tutorial that goes over the basics. So if you've already got LinkedIn, kind of flip through that, see if there's anything you can add or develop. And then uh, if you haven't, you're going to learn a lot. These next two videos talk about building a positive presence, giving you some practical steps you can take to build a positive presence. Um, I mixed it up a little time. So, uh, this time, I know I'm a little heavy on videos. This time, there's an article and a video for each. Um, actually, there's several articles in this section. So one is a video. One is how to develop an academic digital profile. Let's say you're applying for scholarships. Wouldn't it be super cool to say, here's my link and submit that for your scholarship applications or part of your scholarship applications? So that talks about that. Now, these next two videos, approach it like, so what if like you did some really dumb stuff when you were a teen and you put some stuff up there and it's still kind of floating around out there? Is there anything you can do about that? So this is how to clean up your digital footprint. It's an article. It's got several steps, things you can try, things you can do. Just be aware, like pretty much once something goes online, it's kind of there forever. But there are a couple of steps you can take. Uh, so check that out. And then this last one, how do you reduce your digital footprint in the first place? What if you don't want all that stuff out there? How do you take care of that? So I think you'll find the learn section this week super, super practical. Now, the, in the do section, we have two things. The, the GCF LinkedIn quiz, I think you guys kind of know how that works by now, so I'm not going to really talk about that. But let's go into this assignment about creating your digital footprint. Now, what I'm going to have you do, you don't have to create a LinkedIn profile. You can if you want, or if you already have one, you can make sure you hit some of these criteria and submit that. That's all good and fine. Um, you can also create what I like to call a mock-up. So you can do a Google Doc that has all these different things. But basically, I want you to take a few minutes and think about what would you put in or what could you include? And this would include, I've got a whole list of things here to think about, like search for your name and then see if you can respond to these questions that have to do with that. Like, what do you find? What are you gonna do about that? So step one is gonna create. So you can either create in LinkedIn, you can create in a word processor. You might already have something like a WordPress blog or some other, you know, blogger blog or something. So you choose where you're gonna create this. And then um, what I recommend is reading, how do I create a good LinkedIn profile? Because that's gonna give you some tips that'll apply to everything, no matter where uh, you decide to build this. Step two, and this is probably the hard part, this is gonna take you a good amount of thinking. Decide what content you want to add in, all right? So you gotta have a profile picture, you gotta have a headline, have a description, experience in education, um, some skills you know, that you can talk about, and post a couple of examples. Like if you were going to make a, a post to LinkedIn, let's say you found an article to share or something interesting to talk about, give two examples of that. Step three, you're going to save it. So you're going to export your LinkedIn profile, whatever your document is in a PDF format. And then there's a video about how to do that. I've attached two examples below that I'll show you. So like you come down to the bottom, there's two PDF files. And I will definitely show you, uh, show you those in just a minute. Then how to submit. So you're going to upload the PDF to this assignment. And it's, you probably won't see it down here because I'm the teacher. But down here at the bottom, there's an upload place if you're in student mode. And then you're going to share it to the week six foot digital footprint channel. I have to edit that. Um, and so you'll share the PDF to that and talk about some of the questions. So what I want you to do is discuss some of these questions up here in your post and then uh, attach the PDF of your file. So let's take a look at what this might possibly look like. So here's the two files. This one is just done in a Google Doc. Uh, honestly, I pulled stuff directly from my LinkedIn profile and I added it in here. It doesn't have to be big and fancy like I've been working on my digital footprint for a really long time. So I have a lot of stuff there. Um, this is just a template in Google Docs. They have some really nice resume type templates and you can just plug some things in there. 
so that would be okay. This is my actual LinkedIn profile. It's not totally updated. This is from about two years ago, so I probably should make another copy of this. But this will give you an idea of what my, my LinkedIn profile looks like anyhow. Like I said, it's a, got a couple of things that need to be updated. So you're going to create something like this. Doesn't have to be big, doesn't have to be fancy. It just needs to cover the bases and see if you can make it look nice. My recommendation, use a template or use LinkedIn. Both of those will help you format things nicely. This is the week you get to think about who are you online? Like, who are you online? What does that even mean? How are you gonna present yourself? So take a good look at the resources, take a good look at all the stuff, and then see what you put together. We'll see you online.